Hello everyone, OpenAI has just introduced ChatGPT apps, and this update lets you connect and control some amazing tools like Figma and Canva directly inside ChatGPT. This means you can now design, edit, and build visuals right here in the chat. When you tag or ask it to connect to an app like Figma, ChatGPT instantly opens it inside a small window and starts designing automatically. The same goes for Canva. You can simply ask it to create a chart, a flow diagram, or an infographic, and it builds everything right in place. So in this video, I'll walk you through three examples in creating a flow chart, a concept map, and an infographic, all right here inside ChatGPT. You'll see exactly how to give ChatGPT the right prompt to build structured content and generate visuals automatically using Figma or Canva. So let's get started. So here's what we're going to do. In the last video, I showed you how to connect Canva, and now we'll do the exact same process, but this time with Figma. Go to Profile, click on Settings, then Apps and Connectors. Under Browse Apps, you'll see Figma. Click on it, then click Connect. Next, click Continue to Figma, then Allow, and that's it. Now we're connected to Figma. This means you can start creating your designs and diagrams directly inside ChatGPT. Also note that if you don't currently have an account on Figma, it will ask you to create one and sign in before you can use it in ChatGPT. Okay, so in this use case, we're going to see how ChatGPT and the Figma app can work together to create a complete decision flow chart. We'll start by asking ChatGPT to generate the steps of our decision process. Let's imagine a simple scenario where we want to support decision-making for a patient's diagnosis. And so here's the first prompt I'm going to use. Create the steps for a decision flow chart that supports decision-making for a patient's diagnosis. Your task is to to identify and describe the key stages and decision points that typically occur during a patient diagnosis process, starting from the patient presenting symptoms through to treatment initiation. Present the flow in a clear sequence with short action-based labels. Include at least two decision points with logical yes or no outcomes. Add visual design instructions for how it should appear when drawn as a flow chart. Use ovals for start and end. Use rectangles for process steps. Use diamonds for decision points. Use soft pastel colors, light blue, mint green, and peach for each shape type. Keep the layout linear from top to bottom. Output the full result in structured text format so it's ready to be turned into a flowchart in Figma. I'll leave you the full prompts in the description below so you can adapt them for your own flowcharts. Once you run that, ChatGPT will generate the full decision logic, starting from when the patient data is collected, checking if the data is complete, deciding whether to request more information, running the AI diagnostic model, and finally ending with the diagnosis being validated and stored. Okay, so now that we've got the structure we can move to the second prompt, this time to actually design the flowchart inside Figma. So the next prompt you need to enter is connect to the Figma app and create the above. And that's it. In just two quick prompts, ChatGPT builds a complete decision flowchart showing how AI and human clinicians work together from collecting patient data all the way to reaching a validated diagnosis. We can then click on edit in Figma. And once it opens, you'll see that you can customize it in any way you like change the colors, resize the shapes, update the text, even adjust the fonts. Everything is fully editable and ready for you to refine your design right inside Figma. Okay, so let's move on to our second use case. Here we're going to create a concept map on AI and global health systems. Again, we'll start by asking ChatGPT to build the structure first, defining the main branches, the subpoints, and how everything connects. Each one of these will become its own colored section in the map. So for example, blue for diagnostics, green for predictive analytics, and so on. I like to specify the colors in my prompt. Otherwise, ChatGPT will usually generate a plain monochrome map that looks flat when it opens in Figma. Adding colors gives structure and clarity. It helps you see how each area connects visually. In the last part of the prompt, we ask ChatGPT to describe how these clusters interconnect, showing the data flow between them. This is what makes the concept map dynamic instead of just a collection of disconnected ideas. Once ChatGPT generates the full structure, so again, we will add our second prompt, connect to the Figma app and create the above. And within seconds, ChatGPT will create the concept map. So here's the concept map that ChatGPT generated inside Figma. We've got the main node and around it, the key branches showing how AI supports different parts of healthcare. For example, blue is diagnostics, covering imaging and early detection. Green is predictive analytics, helping identify risks before they occur. And teal is telehealth, supporting virtual consultations and remote care. You can see how the branches connect, showing how data flows between areas like prediction, diagnosis, and treatment. Again, you can open it in Figma, you can edit it in any way you like, change the colors, adjust the layout, or add new branches. Everything is fully customizable. 
So just a couple of prompts, we created the clean, structured concept map that maps out how AI connects the global health system from end to end. Okay, in this use case, we're shifting from diagrams to infographics. We'll use ChatGPT and Canva to bring AI's story to life, creating a timeline infographic called The Evolution of Artificial Intelligence, Key Milestones Through Time. We'll start by asking ChatGPT to build the structure for our infographic by adding this prompt. Create the content for a visually engaging infographic titled the evolution of artificial intelligence, key milestones through time. The infographic should present a timeline of AI development that moves through distinct eras, each represented with short milestone descriptions. The design should be clear, balanced, and visually appealing. And we're going to enter that. Okay, so ChatGPT comes back with a clear, structured layout distinct time periods and a neat timeline under each one. It's already organized into eras, each with short milestone descriptions that work perfectly for an infographic. Now we need to add our second prompt, connect to the Canva app and create the above. And that's it. ChatGPT will automatically open Canva and generate the full timeline infographic right inside the chat. So here's what ChatGPT generated inside Canva, a set of infographic designs for the evolution of artificial intelligence, key milestones through time. You can see a few different layout options, each with its own color scheme and visual style, showing AI's journey from its early foundations to the modern generative era. You can click on the one you like, open it, and edit it directly inside Canva, change the layout, swap visuals, or add your own data. You can also ask ChatGPT to generate more designs if you want extra options. For example, just type, give me some new designs, and it will instantly create a fresh set of layouts for you to choose from. It's a great way to explore different design directions and again you can click on any of them to open and edit directly inside Canva and that's it. In just a few simple steps you've seen how ChatGPT apps can work with Figma and Canva to create complete visuals from flowcharts and concept maps to full ready-to-share infographics. I'll leave all the prompts you saw in this video in the description below so you can copy them, try them out, and start designing right inside ChatGPT. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next one.